Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. I uh, haven't done this in a while, so I thought maybe I should. Uh, it's I've, it's just been so busy here. When they tell you Florida is hot, they're not kidding. Uh, the weather's been great too. So, you know, I pray for all of you all that are caught up in that snowstorm that's cutting through the United States right now. I uh, hope you stay safe in that as well. All this staying safe, right? Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today is preparing your home to sell. Uh, we sold our home in 11 days and we did it by making sure of a few things. First of all, we put a fresh coat of paint on the inside. We checked around the perimeter of the home, make sure everything was clean and tidy. But, you know, there's more things than, uh, than just that, although I do want to talk about that first. Uh, first of all, you know, you want to declutter. You want to go through, if you've got a lot of, say you have a collection of seashells or yadros or something like that, you may want to kind of thin it out or remove it all together. Uh, homemade, uh, like pictures on shelves of, you know, the children, the grandchildren. Have maybe a couple, if any, uh, because you want the people who come in to look at your home to be saying, this could be my home. It can't be their home if your family is there, right? So decluttering, clear out your closets so it no one opens up the closet and sees, you know, quilts and everything stuffed in there. And then they say, well, there's not enough storage in this home if they see that sort of thing going on in your closets. So clean out your closets, you know, give a bunch of stuff to Goodwill. It's time to lighten up and get rid of the stuff we don't need or we don't use. Uh, I've always told my friends to uh, and clients to reassess the things you have and uh, try and find other things to do with them. So you want to lighten up. Then you want to freshen up. Okay, so you want to freshen up your paint. As I said in the beginning, I painted everything. We had, our home was 18 years old. And in some areas of the home, it had the tiny little baseboard from the builder. It was really just in our bathroom in the water closet. But, you know, it still, you know, it sits there for 18 years. It collects things in the grout and all that stuff. So if you clean it and you freshly paint it, it looks brand new. I mean, it actually makes your home look new. If you paint your trim, your walls, so there's no, you know, fingerprints from whoever walking around the corner and sometimes you absentmindedly touch things, touch the, the, the wood part of your doors, you know, and you just leave stuff there. So, uh, you know, make sure it's all fresh and clean looking, the paint. Um, of course, as I said, you know, clean out your closets, organize them. Uh, make sure the outside looks good too. You know, uh, when people pull up to your home or, or if they're out there driving through the neighborhoods to see what's for sale, your their first impression, of course, is the, uh, the exterior, right? The curb appeal. So add some color, throw in some annuals. You know, they're cheap, but yet they could give a burst of color. Yellow and red are a great choice in this instance. And, you know, just make sure your grass is cut and kept trim. If there's any dead spots, you know, get you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and or whatever home improvement stores near you and pick up little squares and throw them in there to kind of even it out. Make sure you water it real good so that it takes and it turns green. Uh, you know, maybe even just pots, you know, a pretty pot with a flowering plant or nice variegated leaves and just put them out there. Uh, some of the things I also have been studying is feng shui. So, you know, if you want to know more about feng shui, just let me know. Uh, some of you already know about feng shui, but you know, it's true that, that there are certain things about feng shui that attract people to the home. And one of them I'll just quickly tell you about is, color. So your front door, if your front door is high contrast to the rest of the home, like a nice pop of color, it's more attractive 
to people. So that's just one little tip, rounded edges, you know, curvy sidewalks. And there's tricks to, if you have a straight sidewalk to make it look curvy. Uh, so, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother, uh, situation there. So, you know, the other things, now that's things that you have in control that you could go out and do. Um, make sure though, when you choose a realtor to sell your home, that they are up to date on social media. Social media, seriously, uh, is the way now, especially with COVID, because you can't go door knocking. You can't open houses or kind of creepy. People don't really want to go to them. I mean, they do, but eh. so they're not as popular. So knowing social media, knowing how to advertise your home at scale so that they reach, it reaches the most people is vitally important. So make sure that, and make sure that the realtor knows the market and can price your home right. The best way to do it is to price it in a point where maybe it's just a hair, uh, just a hair around the uh, uh, CMA price, the certified market analysis price. And that way, if you're just a little bit below it, maybe you will get, you may even get multiple offers. So that's my advice for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, if you need anything in the future, just reach out and let me know. Okay. Have a great one. Ciao.